instruction, you might be asking one student who you know has it to go to what tonality is it is, and then a child who's still struggling at verbal association to associate that resting tone, uh, that tonality with a specific resting tone, you can follow up that requires absolutely no audiation. For that child, it just remember requires remembering that okay, if this was major, then that means do is the resting tone. So you can always change the sequence, change the question you're asking as a way of adapting instruction to the individual differences within your classroom, which is powerful, and you are meeting the needs more of your students. All right, here it goes again. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. What a silly thing to do. If you are not careful, Lucy, next you'll lose your shoe. What do you think, Liz? What tonality? Major tonality. Do you agree with her? You do agree with her, Marsha? And I sometimes will ask the students to prove it. And I, at partial synthesis, actually teach them to do so la so fa mi re ti do and mi fa mi re do ti si la. 
and that's one of the ways they can prove it to me by singing the rote song preparatory sequence, Lulu and then.